Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to the second half of March, 2022, all right? So we're gonna jump in and do a read for love as it pertains to love. Uh, do check out your moon rising and your Venus signs because that's gonna help give you a bigger picture regarding the situation, all right? This could be for singles, couples, uh, those that uh, have yet to meet that person. You might find elements of that new person that would be coming your way to give you an idea in terms of where they're at as well. Um, this also can do with family, a co-worker, um, anywhere that there is love there, all forms of love. So you're going to know what that is for you and your journey. But let's take a look and see what comes up. So what is going on for Taurus? What do we have for Taurus? Second half of March. Uh, what do we get here? Ooh, the full card. You're on a brand new journey, Taurus. Wow. Okay. You're manifesting something. What's at the bottom of the deck? Yeah. You've been inspired. Uh, this is about inspiration and creation. This is about that potential for you. So there is an opportunity. Something's got your mind on fire. All right. <laughs> Something sparked your mind. All right. Uh, so this is an opportunity, some sort of inspiration that's coming through here. But um, it's, it's something that you need to put a little bit, you need to put some effort into because it's a potential so to speak so that's what's coming through here um, now that's the bottom of the deck so it's kind of underlying energy let's take a look at the cards that we got we've got the full card we've got the two of wands and then we've got the ace of pentacles um, now the full card is a brand new journey right so you've got a brand new journey that's coming your way um, you're protected this is about taking that leap of faith and kind of moving forward um, having confidence having an amethyst in her hand knowing that she's protected as she moves forward there's like this crystalline net that's going to catch her no matter what so that the universe is kind of pushing you forward to have some sort of brand new beginning now um, this is uh, you know being curious about this brand new beginning this is about coming what may um, you know kind of that type of feeling but feeling free nevertheless all right um, so you know she's out on the ledge she's just kind of taking a little bit of a chance here um, now I also get to making progress so this could be some sort of brand new beginning and you're making progress on something that you're manifesting all right because this is about bringing forth manifestation and prosperity and the universe says Taurus here you go uh, we've got something here for you um, it's an opportunity take it and run with it do you want it so it's like you grabbing that and moving forward and it's whatever you're manifesting in love this could be a person place or thing um but that's what i see that that is happening here and coming through for you here um very very uh beautiful beautiful energy so i like that you're making progress on whatever it is that you're manifesting so this is fab fabulous um anything that uh, might want to come out uh let's take a look what do we get affection you know what taurus you're displaying some love here. This is about an open display of love and uh, special attention to each other's needs. So if you've got someone in mind, this could be that person uh, that you are extending affection to uh, and uh, or, you know, and vice versa. So kind of listening to each other's needs and then giving the affection that that other person uh, may or may, you know, may want here is what, I, what I'm getting here. Um, so what do the soul trees have to say coming through here? Let's take a look in terms of your love life. Anything that wants to come through? New growth. Yeah, it's kind of like, you know, when you have an open display of love, that really deepens a connection. And that brings forth, you know, new growth in a relationship or situation. Now, the green there, you see there is the heart chakra. And that red is the root chakra. And uh, it's all backed by kind of like the universe. It's almost like there. This is like um, the divine there. It's like the um, the uh, the crown chakra is coming through here. So there's like messages coming down uh, that's helping you kind of pace this out on on what this looks like, like when to kind of move forward. Because I also get the watch on this, right? So it's like when the timing is important uh, in terms of the affection and such that's coming through. Uh, anything else that uh, wants to reveal itself uh, for Taurus? What do we get? Yeah, balancing of uh, emotions. Well, you know, not shouldn't say emotions, but but um, energy. So this is about that duality. This is about adapting to new energy, balancing new energy, and uh, being able to do that. So I don't. You're going on. You know, uh, you're taking the road on. It's like new terrain, like new road. 
and new energy is associated with that. And it takes a little balancing and adapting. And so you're kind of getting used to those energies and balancing kind of this new way of being and doing in love. You're learning a lot in love, Taurus, I feel right now. There's something, and I think that affection is really key. You're learning the importance of affection in a relationship. And it's not that you didn't know it before, yes, but there's something about it, about how you give it and how you are giving it in love. Uh, and maybe uh, you didn't do so much previously, but now that you're having this open display of love and putting special attention on each other's needs. Uh, you know, maybe someone that you're interested in, maybe uh, this is, uh, again, a friend or family member or someone that uh, you're connected to or currently dating, uh, you know, um, you know, I've yet to meet, in fact. So that's what I see that's happening here, all right? Uh, anything else uh, that might want to come through for you in terms of where you're at? Uh, let's take a look at uh, what is uh, any sort of thoughts that might be coming through. What do we get? The nights are long without you. Oh my gosh. Okay. So there could be someone that's on your mind, you guys, right now. Well, let's jump over to this other side and take a look at this other person uh, that, that Taurus has on their mind. All right. Let's take a look at what's happening. We got the Eight of Pentacles. Okay. So someone's deep in research, doing some work, uh, uh, and Ten of Pentacles. They're focusing on, um, you know, so the research on how to perhaps, I don't know, make more money, leave a legacy. Um, you know, the Ten of Pentacles is Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Um, this person is doing research, uh, all right? So uh, anything else? And this person wants the full thing. They're kind of doing research on how it, what it takes to actually have a happy, fulfilling life and family. And, and I also get they're going through some sort of rest and recuperation that's happening, okay? So this could be, you know, for them going through some sort of rest uh, of some sort right now. Uh, this is kind of passivity. They're not really moving. Um, this is about getting the energy. It has to do with matters of the heart. They're kind of um, they're they're kind of hibernating a little bit, okay? So when I get the four of of um, of, uh, of swords here, it's it's about um, some sort of rest and recuperation and trying to gain their stability back. Uh, in terms of uh, the situation, I don't know if they've been hurt in love before, or you know, it could be something of the case. But tell me a little bit on this four of swords. What did we get? Six of Wands are trying to get their confidence back uh, in, in love. And, and they want to have victory in love, all right? And this is um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You don't necessarily have to have that sign, uh, you know, to relate to this energy because the energy trumps the sign. I just wanted to let you know this is fire energy. There's a wreath of success here. So this talks about uh, self-confidence and making progress and growing uh, you know, it may be doing research on what it takes to have a, you know, a family, you know, to leave that legacy that, you know, to bring forth a lot of prosperity and they're doing a lot of research. It's making their entire, maybe they're focusing on work quite a bit as well, but they're trying to get the confidence in terms of moving forward. So let's take a look at, um, anything, other messages, magic, aqua got this too. Um, interesting. You might not want to take a look at that read, but, um, I get magic and what I feel is this person is, um, you know, I, I kind of feel that it's, it's kind of like magic that they're kind of getting some, you know, downloads from the universe before they communicate. Cause there's a lot of blue in there. That's the throat chakra and that purple. I mean, you're really talking about the third eye, like a perception and then the crown chakra, a little bit of the lighter purple, that is, you know, about the connection to source. So this is about getting downloads, seeing things from a different perspective and creating the magic in their life. Um, you know, maybe that they are going into a little bit more esoteric studies, or it could be that they are just doing further research uh, and believing that, the, you know, that, uh, you know, this is what they want. You know, this is what they're seeing here, uh, earth energy. Uh, let's take a look at uh, anything else that might want to come out. Um, let's take a look. What is important for this other person? Interesting. So um, they're focusing on magic. It could be manifesting a little bit. Anything else? Um, loyalty. Someone wants to be supportive and has your best interest at heart. Now, this could be you, uh, Taurus, coming through here, but they do get loyalty coming through here. So loyalty is, um, they, you know, they're understanding loyalty, whether they're getting loyalty from you and they are understanding that, uh, 
um, and, and maybe they did, didn't know that that was the case, but there has been some sort of loyalty perhaps between you both, okay? Or in this situation or, um, and let's take a look at what are some of the thoughts uh, that are coming through from this person's side. What do we get? What do we get here? I know I let you down, all right? So maybe this person is having a hard time, um, you know, uh, uh, you know, being a part of a situation or a relationship or uh, connecting in some way. Maybe they're having a little bit of a harder time in terms of doing that. So, um, so why did this person, I, I'm kind of curious on, on uh, a little bit more about them, but let's go back to you and we'll come back to them. Uh, what is the best advice in terms of moving forward uh, at this moment? Uh, any further messages for Taurus in their love lives? Second half of March. Oh my gosh, look what we got, guys. Two of Cups. Two of Cups. So this is all about partnership. This is all about, you know, attraction between two people. So this is beautiful. This is coming together. So, you know, Cup Energy is, uh, you know, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So um, this is about coming together. Um, I feel there's a lot of passion here. Having the strength. Uh, Leo energy coming through here. And what else? <gasps> a page of pentacles. Uh, the page of pentacles is about manifestation in a new enterprise, a message coming through. Oh my gosh. There could be a message coming through relating to love. And this is you having the strength in this process. I'll tell you, Taurus, you're being, you're used to getting what you want, uh, is what I'm feeling. And this is about having strength in this process with this, this uh, other person is what I feel here, where you've got a strong, you know, uh, you kind of like this electricity of attraction between both of you, right? And this is having the strength, um, you know, as, you know, this person I think is going to be reaching out because I do get a message. You could be delivering a message to this person if you're looking over that way, or you could be receiving a message from this person, but the pay just are about message and it's about manifestation in a new enterprise so um but this is having the strength in the situation so you're trying to have the strength in the situation uh to balance out kind of the control factor being like the lion and taking control um and then also learning when to be the lamb this is hard this is not easy to do in matters of the heart and I think that this, for some of you um, uh, out there, this could be kind of that dynamic of, remember that balancing that we got here? Like, you know, like you're used to going into work and being able to make things happen, right? And they, they happen. But in love, whoa, that's a totally different story, right? <laughs> So that's what I see happening here. And so you know that there's a strong partnership and attraction. Anything else that might want to come through in terms of a message? Anything um, that might want to come through on this? What do we get? Nine, oh, King of Wands. Uh, this is Aries Leo Sagittarius. Uh, so this is someone who's uh, maybe uh, you know having the courage in this process uh, to be that visionary entrepreneur. Now this could be you guys, an opportunity of something that you manifested is coming through that you visualized, okay? Because that's what this, uh, uh, you know, that's what this king is. He's very much courageous, uh, you know, has a, uh, you know, has a wand in his hand that's lit, which is talking about strength and courage coming through. Um, this could be the courage for someone to step up and, and deliver a message to you or, or, or vice versa, okay? But uh, the knight of wands is coming, I mean, excuse me, the king of wands is coming through. Uh, anything else that, uh, any other messages, anything from this King of Wands that wants to come through here? What do we get? Healing. Oh my gosh. There's still open wounds that need time to heal and they need, there's a tension that needs to heal in this process. So for some of you, you might be going through a healing process of maybe some emotions, uh, of some sort. What is this, uh, that you are trying to heal? What is this? Uh, let's, Sorry, guys, uh, there's a lot of noise next door because they're building a big high rise. And I so apologize for that. It, it's been crazy. Um, uh, but in any event, uh, but that's what, that's if you hear these little screeches and stuff, it's all next door and got to do what I can do here. Um, but let's take a look. What do we have um, for this healing? What do we get? Obsessiveness, guys. Write down what you're obsessing over and realizing that in this situation that it could be perhaps draining you in this, right? When you when you consistently obsess about something, it, it exhausts you, right? So, you know, it's, it's time to kind of lay that down is what this talks about. 
kind of laying that down uh, because it's it's very very key okay um it is about you know realizing that it's emotionally draining you and uh um if you're obsessing over a particular person um this is really a scene that uh um, you know, really focus on perhaps other, you know, calming mental imagery that could be maybe some sort of viable intervention, you know, in the process. Um, you know, visual imagery is, is, is really, really helpful within this as well. Um, but that's what I feel that's, that's kind of happening here, that it's important. Um, yeah, to really relax, definitely relax. So um, really about changing that and, and getting out of that and, and focusing on mindfulness, focusing on the now and uh, just maybe focusing just on your breathing for a moment and just relaxing and you know, really bring yourself back to the now uh, anytime you feel yourself kind of going down that rabbit hole. Um, but this is what I feel that's coming into place. There's obsessiveness. This need, and finding the reason for that, right? Finding the reason for the obsessiveness that, that might be coming through. For, now, this is for some of you because it is coming, you know, it is uh, showing its, uh, um, it's, it's rearing its head through here, okay? Uh, anything else that can help you in this process, all right? So you're healing from this is what I feel. You're expanding you're expanding, right? Um, this is emotions. It's like expanding your emotions and connecting with source. And it's to clear things out for you is what I feel here. So there's some sort of expansion that is happening. And this could be um, within a situation, okay? Um, wow. And, and um, anything that can help you uh, with obsessiveness that might want to come through, what do we have? Um, what do we have about that? Well, I'm going to pull a card on this, guys. All right, let me just pull a card on this for you. This might help some of you. Decisions. Use your voice. Va value your desires. You have every right to make a decision, too. I don't know. Maybe you've been um, focusing on a decision whether or not to continue with someone or not. But use your voice. Value your desires. You have every right to make a decision as well. All right? Um, and anything else on this obsessiveness that seems to be coming through. Okay, let's take a look at what this is. Oh, that's the, that's the title card. I can't use that one. All right, that's how directions of the deck. I don't need that. Let's take a look. What do we get? Okay, so in the past, this is talking about maybe feeling bullied and scared about the situation in love. But this has changed now, Taurus, because now you're able to stand up for yourself and create safe boundaries. So it's about creating safe boundaries in a relationship or situation, right? And, um, and, and, and knowing that, uh, yeah, knowing how, the importance of that in the process. Uh, anything else uh, for Taurus? Well, that wanted to come out, so I'm going to take it when I grab the deck. <laughs> you are worth fighting for. Damn right, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had to say that it's so coming through for you here, okay? You are worth fighting for, okay? And that's what's that's what I get. Let's take a look at this other person. That's the advice I'm getting. This other person over here, what do we get? Where they're at? Libra energy coming through here. Justice. High Priestess. Connecting to Source. That's kind of how I felt, guys, when they were in this magic here. Uh, I got the High Priestess card. So so you get two major arcanas coming out. Major. Oh, three major arcanas. Huge shift for this person. All right. So this is about balancing things out and connecting with source before moving forward. Okay. Whatever that is for this person. Okay. But tapping within the mys mystery within. That's again why we got this magic card. Okay. This person is tapping within. I, I really feel going and connecting with source and um, their guidance and spirit guides. I feel that. Uh, it's really coming through here. Uh, and, um, yeah, I really feel that that's what they're doing. Libra energy could be dealing with the justice system, wanting, you know, wanting something fair and equal in the situation. How do I make things fair? How do I balance things out from this? Right. How do I come back from, you know, I let you down perhaps. Right. So going within and checking in that they're, they're doing that before they move forward with just passion. Right. This is about moving forward with strength, being able to balance, you know, the light side and the dark side of one's self and moving forward with faith, cancer energy. OK. And, you know, Libra energy coming through here. This is what I get for them. Whoa. OK. So they're, they're just going to balance things out and try to get things straight in the end in the mind, body, and soul before having faith and moving forward with the chariot card. Um, and what do I get? Yeah, right now there's a detachment. There's a detachment of communication in the heart. And I feel there's some sort of detachment, like you're not together at this particular moment. And what do I get? 
yeah, detachment to birth something new. Something has to detach so something can bloom. It, I think it's in divine timing because the universe, look at all this purple here and lilac. This is like the crown chakra. This is the, the uh, third eye. And something needs to bloom, but there needs to be, it has to birth something new. And if one, if, if, if something's not being released, there's a detachment that's coming into play that's necessary. All right. Uh, what uh, do the love cards have to say for this other person? Okay. So there's a detachment here is what I feel here. What do we get? Blindsided. Somebody's ill prepared for this unexpected attack. Hmm. Interesting. So, wow. I don't even know what this is. My gosh. What is this? Let me just pull a card on this. Uh, blindsided, what is this? Something, someone's gonna, heart's gonna be broken. Someone's heart is gonna be broken. They're not gonna see it. They're not gonna see it. Something in their situation. It could be something that's coming up from the surface. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Uh, and it says someone was ill prepared for this unexpected attack. Someone's gonna feel. Someone's gonna feel brokenhearted. I almost feel that something's coming in. If this person is just seeing you or just dating, you know, it could be they could be blindsided in a situation. Uh, maybe they're blindsided of the fact that they didn't feel they could. They didn't understand they could feel heartbreak in this. And maybe you, you, there's some some heartbreak between both of you. Okay, they were blindsided by it. They didn't expect. I think to feel this way. Give me one more card. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. What do we get? Yeah, they weren't expected to be blindsided in love and have so much passion for someone. They didn't expect to be hurt. Oh, mm, maybe you were just dating this person. You guys got to tell me. Note your comments below, guys. Love to know. Fill your girl in. Um, but yeah, this is about uh, passion. This is Gemini energy. They were blindsided. I think that you surprised them. All right. Um, yeah, that's what I see happening coming through here. Um, and, uh, that's what I see. Yeah. Let's pull a card on, uh, any sort of thoughts or secrets. Gosh, what's next? You've been blindsided. Um, what do we get? Missing your touch. They are missing you. And whoa, this detachment is whatever your separation is helping you. Let's take a look at the next step, guys. We'll find out what it is that they haven't told you what they want most in their next steps here. All right. We'll find the uh, scene for you, um, as well as messages from both sides and a potential outcome and oracle advice. So we'll find that out on that, okay? Um, on kind of what this looks like. If you're interested in taking that deep dive, guys, click the link in the description box below. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, namaste.